Hello, and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. I'm Kelly Ainsworth here at the 2016 IADC Human Factors Conference in Galveston, Texas. Earlier today, Tony Willis of Noble Drilling explained how his company has integrated human factors into training for employees at various levels in their career. He's here to tell us more. How are you doing today, Tony? Great. Thanks, Kelly. What are the benefits of integrating human factors into technical training rather than teaching it as a separate course? One of the things that we've that we've seen, at least at Noble Drilling, is the fact that truly to get people to understand and incorporate the human factors concepts into what they do on a daily basis, it has to be integrated into the into the technical training. If we if we treat it as a separate subject, if we treat it as as a as a silo, then people tend to look at it as that that I'm I'm going to step out of my technical role right now. I'll step into a non-technical human factors role when in reality the two have to be integrated together. They're they're so closely related that one drives the other. And what are some approaches that Noble has been taking to embed human factors into the technical training? One of the things that we try and do from the from new hire courses, we introduce the concepts, we introduce the 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 terminology so that people understand what it is that we're talking about, but then we relate it back to what they do on a daily basis. So whether it is a brand new hire that will be that will be on the rig for the first time and they have to be aware of their surroundings because of the because of the dangerous nature of of a rig or whether that's a driller who is a, a, an experienced driller who has been out there a long time we need to help them understand how their human limitations impact the job that they do on a daily basis and why is it important for Noble to incorporate human factors into training at every career level? As we start someone into the, from a, a fresh off the street hire, someone who's never worked in the industry before, it's important that we, that we start there and introduce the concepts to them. But as someone who has been working for say 15 to 20 years, what we've found is that there's, there's not a direct correlation with the amount of time worked to the, per, the probability of a, an accident or an incident occurring. In fact, it can happen to a brand new hire on day one, or it can happen to somebody who is an experienced individual. And so human factors or that understanding of how things work together becomes very important at all different levels, whether they're in a leadership position or whether they're an individual contributor out on the rig. Well, thank you for joining us today, Tony, and giving us insight into how Noble's approaching human factors training. Thanks, Kelly. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.